Hey there everyone, this is Flashflame00 here and welcome to a brand new LP. From now on, I'll be doing Let's Play Final Fantasy VI Advance. You know, one of the reasons why I chose to do this game was because, well, it is my favorite out of the entire Final Fantasy series. And this game has a really good story to it. So yeah, without further ado, let's begin the game. Creepy opening, what'd you say? Really, really creepy, what'd you say? Well, I could skip this though, but I don't want you guys to actually miss what it says in the intro and I'm about to show you, so keep watching. If you're impatient, well, just skip ahead. You know, maybe I should skip ahead because, well, I'm just staring at the title screen for, who knows, like, half, three minutes? I mean, 30 minutes? What am I thinking? Like, 30 seconds? Okay, the title screen disappears, and we're going to go into the game. Wow, I just wasted an one minute of my life watching the title screen come and here's the intro well I'm gonna skip the intro because well when you start a new game it's the same intro so there's really no point in watching it and here's a real title screen Final Fantasy 6 events new game and this is where the real intro starts and I can't read that fast so read on your own Maybe I'll read. In thousands of years that followed, iron, gunpowder, and steam engines took the place of magic, and life slowly returned to the barren land. Moving on. Yet, there now stands one who would reawaken the magic of ages past and use it, strand power, as a means by which to conquer all the world. Gasp! All the world? Who would dare do such a thing? I mean, I'd like to take over the world, but who could actually be foolish enough to do that? Could anyone truly be foolish enough to repeat that mistake? Hmm, I wonder. I wonder if there's anyone foolish enough to actually do it. Someone's coming, and there they are. Those guys must be foolish. An Esper, what's that? Goose chase. You don't see any goose around here, do you? Wedge? What kind of name is that? What? What? Use her? Witch? She's your witch? Whoa, 50. 50 of those guys? Oh my god. She fried them all in three minutes. Wow. These guys are tough to beat though, actually. Minus Puppet. They're actually pretty hard to beat because, you know, they're armored up and everything, and they cast magic. Man, these guys are cool. You heartless fiends, how could you? How could you take over a girl? Why are you going with them? And so begins a long walk. Down the snow road. I really wouldn't call this an intro though, because from this point, you're just walking down the snowy road. I, I gotta tell you one thing I freaking love this 
theme song is so heart heartwarming. You get to see the staff as well while you're at it. Graphic directors Kazuko Shibuya, Shibuya as a as the same name as the city of Shibuya. Nobu Uometsu, the best freaking music composer there is, everyone. Who's with me? And there's the image director, I mean designer, Yoshitaka Amano. Yeah. All these names are Japanese. Event planner Kisuke Matsuhara. Yeah. Okay, I'm um, Hiroshi Harada Satoshi Ogata. Battle programmer Akihiro Yamaguchi. No, Yamaguchi, yeah. I swear, it just feels so epic just watching these guys walk down the road like one step and just one step at a time. You know, one could imagine how tough it is walking in that plate of armor. Well, the music's fading away, so I guess that ends their walk down the snowy road. And here's where their game really begins. You actually have control of the text now. The girl takes point and don't waste time on the riffraff. Remember what we're here for. Let's move out. What the? Yeah, you, you have the controls right now, but even if you try to get it out, well, it won't work. Because these guys force you back. Okay, I have my control now, so I'm just... I mean, all you can do now at this point is just move forward. Imperial Magic Armor? Not even Nosh is safe anymore. Get them! And this is the battle screen. Then... Well, there's nothing much you can do here but fight. And the only commands you have for attacking is Magitek, which apparently doesn't take up any MP points. So at this point in the game, you can't really lose. So remember that, because you you can attack as much as you can, and it's limitless. And I, in the first battle, I've already leveled up. Would you believe it? Wiggs and Wedge level up. You know, only, only two of the characters actually leveled up, but what about the girl? Yeah, say they're dogs, but don't come in fighting like men. Okay, this is kind of ridiculous. I mean, they, they look like dogs on the screen, though, but in the battle screen, they look like friggin' wolves. What the hell is up with that? So I've already showed you Fire Beam and Ice Beam, and I'm gonna use Thunder Beam. I mean, at this point, you just... You can win this fight with just using one attack. And here they come. Yeah, the dogs die for you and now you're gonna die. Of course, if you see the number on the side of the screen, that shows your HP like 51 from question mark, question mark, question mark, and 62 from Wedge. Yeah, and if you see that meter filling up, well, that's the ATB meter, which means that every time it fills up, that's your chance to attack. Oh. Uh, I was actually planning to use Bio Blast. When the fortunes I selected Thunder Beam. The girl actually knows more magic than those guys. Oh shoot, surrounded. Okay, this is kind of bad because when you're surrounding the battle, yeah. Your attack meter starts at the bottom and these guys get to attack you first. Yeah, this is a little bad, so. So what's best to do is actually to stay calm and I'm gonna have to use healing force on Wedge because, well, he's getting low on life. Bio blast. This thing is, this attack is brutal. 200 attack. Wow. Big Wedge. Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. Gain the level. Why don't they just give her a name? Yeah, around here, I kind of, I was thinking that like. If you, you have to actually move around from those pipes, but you just go straight ahead. 
Even though it looks like the pipes are stabbing into your armor. Defend the mines! What the? A wolf? I mean, wolves? Okay, we have four enemies. Well, this will be easy. Magitek, Ice Beam, get rid of the wolves first. And you watch out for the critical attacks because, well, those are pretty strong. And Magitek Missile. This has to be one of the most powerful Magitek attacks ever in the game. It's one attack, which is a missile, but watch how much damage it will make. Question mark, question mark, question mark is actually pretty low on life, so I don't have to use healing force on her. And the amount that you recover using healing force is kind of ridiculous. It's like 300 when you have like only like 90 HP points. 65 XP, ooh, a potion. And I get money. Wow. Okay, moving into the mines anytime now. Okay, what do you guys want? According to our sources, you unearthed the frozen esper in the mine. Yeah, I just go in there. <sighs> okay, let's go. Where the hell is this? Oh, wow, what's that? Is that a diamond? Oh, no, it's not. A strange like throws the air. Do you want to learn about save points? Well, I actually know about them, but okay, I'll learn about them anyway. At save points, you can use tents and sleeping bags and also save the game. If your party should happen to be defeated by battle, you'll automatically restart from the last place you started. Any gear or lost items you obtain will be found again, but your level and experience total will not change. You can also save the game anywhere on an overworld map, like any Final Fantasy game. So yeah, I'm just gonna... This is the menu screen, and I don't have to use any items right now. Okay, I'm just showing off right now. Equipment. Yeah, she has equipment, but watch this. If you try going to the next screen, well, it won't work because these guys don't have equipment. And you can't equip them at all. So yeah, I'm just going to save and I'm going to have to say, I'll, I'm going to see you guys next time on Let's Play Fall Fantasy VI Advance. And thanks for watching, everyone. And I hope you enjoyed this new LP I'm making. And see you guys then.